What's up, y'all? I want to know, do people know you? Do people know you? You got a business, product, event. Do people know you? So I want to share something that happened to me on yesterday, and it really shifted my mindset. Um, I went into a business, and the business owner said that they had been around for a year, okay? A year. And they were saying that some people still didn't know that they were there. And I was like, woo. So in my mind, I always relate things back to my business and relate things as to how I can help other people. And in my mind, I said to myself, wow, you've been in a place for a year and there are people still in that in the area that don't know that you're here. That's not great marketing. That's not great um, advertisement. And it made me want to rethink some things on how I do things. So uh, we are new to the area. So I started asking um if she knew that we were here because really we haven't officially opened so i haven't done a full-fledged marketing campaign to tell people that we're downtown king street and she had no idea and instantly i was like oh you know but i had to remind myself hey you haven't gone full-fledged on your marketing campaign but in my mind i also said boom i started thinking of ways to reach people in my local area to let them know who we are and what we do and so that what, what that does for me is it, it tells me that I need to work the inner circle, work in the local town, let everybody know where Suham Entertainment Studio is, what, what we do. And some of the things that I plan to do is actually call every business in my county, in Williamsburg County. Now, you might say, Sue, I live in a big county. I'm not doing that. But I'm just telling you some of the things that I plan to do. And I just want you to start to ask yourself, do people know me? I'm sorry, guys. I'm looking outside the window there. I, I love this view. I get to look down, see who's driving downtown and whatnot, but they can't see me in here. I love that. Um, so you need to start asking yourself, what can you do to make sure people know you? So I'm going to... Um, personally call everybody and let them know that I'm new to the area and let them know what we do. And, and I'm going to ask them, how can I serve you? How can I add value to what you do? Because I don't just want to tell them who I am and what I do. I want to see how I can help them in any way. Uh, so I'm going to call them, but I'm also going to follow it up with a piece of literature in the mail. So now they have something tangible that they can hold on to. Because a lot of times um, people don't want to give you their email address. They don't want to be spammed. So I'll call because that's personable. Um, and I will follow up with an email. Um, so I said that because for me, I have been ramping up my marketing really, really hard. And one of the biggest things that I know um, it's very important to do is to buy Facebook ads. A lot of people think if they post a couple, two, three times, they're good. But here's what I want people to understand. I know you hear about the algorithms all the time on Facebook and Instagram, but it's true. If you know it, you're, a lot of people are not seeing your post. I'm on Facebook quite a bit, right? And here's the thing. I'm not seeing a lot of my friends post. And I hate it because it, it's like they just went away. And I know you guys are there. But it's just like you're only seeing like maybe 50 people at max that you typically interact with. I don't even think I see 50 people. I may see 20, 30 people that come up in my news feed that I interact with. So if that's the case and your marketing only consists of you posting something about your business, or maybe it's a product that you're selling, or maybe you have a seminar, right, that's coming up, and you're only posting it one or two times on your personal page, how many people do you really think are seeing that? Not enough. Not freaking enough. Not if you have a business that you want to thrive. So that's why I always tell people, man, invest in the Facebook ads, the YouTube ads, the Instagram ads. It is so freaking worth it. And here's the thing. They are freaking cheap. Cheap as I don't know what. Uh, Facebook ads, you can actually market on Facebook for like a dollar a day. That's four quarters, people. I just spent that, right, at, at McDonald's uh, for breakfast. D, how, was, how much was my breakfast? Um, six something. Six something? So like six, seven dollars I just spent at McDonald's, right? That could have been six or seven days of marketing if I only just wanted to spend one dollar a day uh, on Facebook ads. Do you see how minimum that is? A lot of people saying, I don't have the money to do it, Sue. Yes, you do. The food that you're buying to eat out could actually be geared towards your Facebook ads. And then with those ads, you could actually target people that you feel are going to be attracted to what you have to offer. And you can target them by age. You can target them by sex, by the things that they like, how much money they make, where they live, the different shows that they watch, whether it's Empire, whether it's This Is 
pleases us. Whether they like to travel, if they're frequent travelers, you can you can you can uh, 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 take all that into account, and your ad will drop into those news feeds. So it's targeted. And I'm just, well, that's one of the things I want to appeal to the local businesses around here is like, listen, you got to start telling people about who you are. A lot of brick and mortars are closing and a lot of people are just resulting to selling online. And if you're only posting once or twice and you're wondering why you're not getting sales or you're wondering why people don't know you, it's because you don't have a great marketing advertisement budget. You're not doing your best to get known. Um... You don't want to be the world's best kept secret. Uh, Grant Cardone. Dee, bring my book right there behind you. Grant Cardone. I put it in my book, uh, Your Dreams Matter. Grant Cardone has this quote, and it just hit me. I, I love Grant Cardone. You guys follow Grant Cardone as well as Cater Comier. Uh, Cater is K-E-D-E-R-C-O-R-M-I-E-R. Grant Cardone says, uh, let me find it in the book. Find it in the book. Your dreams matter. Hold on, guys, because I need y'all to hear this quote. And when you hear this quote, it's going to change your life for it. Grant Cardone says, um, best known beats the best product every time. Now, I want you to grasp that. Grasp that. I'm going to give you two seconds. One, two. Best known beats the best product. Like, so, for example, my competitor might have a better freaking product than me, right? They might have a better play, because I do stage plays, or they may be a better speaker, because I speak. They may do a better anti-bullying rally, because we do anti-bullying rallies. They may have a better product, right? But because nobody knows them, because I'm pushing my stuff and I'm known, I'm going to beat them. I'm going to beat them because nobody knows about them, but they know about me. And vice versa. I could have a better product, right? A, a, or a better storyline or a better script. But if nobody knows me, then that person who has one that's uh, average, but they know them, they're the one that's going to win. Best known beats the best product every time. So how are you getting known? You don't want to be in obscurity land. You want to be known. In order to be known, you got to market like you bathe. You should be bathing every day. So that means you should be marketing every day. Um, I, I have this phrase that I've been saying for, I don't know, but probably about 10 years. Consistency rules. Consistency matters. So you have to continually put your stuff out there consistently. Yes, Debrika, that makes sense. Thank you for commenting on that. And that makes sense. So a lot of people um, don't get that. But when I heard that, when I heard that phrase from Grant Cardone, it really changed my life because the best known will beat the best product every freaking time. For me, Wendy's might have a better burger, but because McDonald's is advertising the, the heck out of, uh, out, of, out of their burgers and stuff on TV, I'm going to McDonald's. Point blank simple. I'm going to McDonald's because they steady advertise everywhere I look. McDonald's, 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 but Wendy's may be better. I will never know because Wendy's doesn't, to me, from what I see, they're not putting their product out there as much as McDonald's. So if people don't know you in your small town, you're not doing a great job marketing. When People need a certain thing and it's within your expertise. Your name should be the name that comes up every freaking time, every freaking time. So market within your local area. Make sure everybody knows you there. Then when you finish there, start expanding. Like I expand, I market everywhere now because I, my, my whole concept is my brand is to be global right? We have people that actually tune in to our live broadcast from, from Africa, from Jamaica. We have people that bought products from us that are out of the country. So my whole thing is to be global because I have this huge goal, which is to connect with a billion people. I want a billion people to know my brand. Now, that's a, a humongous goal, and I may never reach that. But if I fall short and reach 100 million, I'm happy. If I fall short and reach 8 million, I'm happy because I'm a little girl from Williamsburg County right in South Carolina rural small town King Street South Carolina so to be able to reach that many people on a consistent basis yes being on the Steve Harvey show they had about three million people to watch me but that was a one-time thing that's not consistency 
I need something where I'm accumulating an audience where I have three to five to 10 to 100 million people watching me at any given time. And that's only going to happen if I consistently create compelling content and if I consistently market and advertise myself. And there are so many different mediums to use and you should be using every medium that is available to you if you want to become the best known. There is no reason why you should be in a town and you have a business or a product or you're, you have a service or something and the people in the town not know who you are. There's a problem with that. I love being able to go into neighboring towns to neighboring states and people recognize who I am and they recognize what I have to offer. And that happens because of several things. One, we consistently market. Two, we consistently create compelling content that pulls people away from what they're watching or what they're doing. They want to tune in to us. Three, word of mouth. You guys are amazing. You guys, you go out there and you tell people about us and we appreciate you and we love you long time. Uh, four, um, we actually use several different mediums to put our business out there, whether we're writing books whether we're doing podcasts, whether we're doing Facebook Lives, whether we're doing blog posts, whether we're doing radio interviews, TV interviews, um, running Facebook ads, running YouTube ads, running Instagram ads, sending out email blasts, um, texting people because everybody's got a phone in their hand, using our text services to put out different things, asking people to subscribe to our texting services so we can tell them about our events and our uh, auditions that we have coming up. So uh, whether we're sending out letters, whether we're making appearances in, 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 you know, calling people, there's so many different ways that you can consistently market and make sure that people know you. And with the world being so busy, people, you have to do it on a consistent basis and um, don't be afraid to do it four or five times a day. All right. So I just wanted to ask you that if you're wondering why you're not selling stuff and a lot of people, you know, understand that it takes time to build your audience. Like I said, you should be marketing like you bathe, which is every day, consistently putting your content out there every freaking day. Um, and you should be doing it um, like you eat probably more than one time a day, right? One time a day is not going to cut it. One time a week is not going to cut it. One time a month is not going to cut it. Um, but at the end of the day, I want you to understand something too. It takes time to build up an audience. Don't just think you're just going to pop out here and like, boom, everybody's going to buy my product. Everybody's going to know my name. Everybody's going to, um, you know, I'm going to sell out every show. Cause here's what I want to tell you. This is the hard gut God's honest truth. I remember when I first started doing stage plays, man, um, there were times when I had like 30 people in the audience. Okay. There were times when I was hosting different shows. There was three people in the audience. Now you fast forward to being able to be on the Steve Harvey TV show where there's millions of people watching me fast forward to where we're doing our stage plays and we're selling them out. Um, fast forward to where we're doing free classes and we're selling them out. And I know a lot of people say, oh, but it's free. No, but here's what I want you to understand. Just because you do something for free doesn't mean somebody's going to come because if they don't know you, they will feel like it's not worth their time. So the reason why we're able to pack a class that's free is because they know us, they know Suham Entertainment, and they know that we are known for bringing great value in classes so people say, hey, if it's free, I'm coming because I know I'm about to get a ton of value. If there's a price tag attached to it, people say, hey, I'm coming because I know the show is going to be great or I'm going to get a ton of value. So, And that came from consistently branding, consistently marketing, and consistently delivering good on what we promise. So I just wanted to do this video and ask you guys, do people know you? If they don't know you, why don't they know you? What are you going to do to change that? And uh, there's no better time than to start today. If this video has been um, any way helpful, I would really love it um, if you would just share it. That's what I would love. My name is Salandia Herman, a.k.a. Suham, baby. And in parting, I want to encourage you to live, love, learn, and laugh. Don't quit. Follow your dreams to success. I got some breakfast to get to. We got some calls to make because we are booking our anti-bullying rally. And a lot of people don't know about our rallies. And the only way to get them to know is to call them, run our Facebook ads, and email them, and follow up and get some bookings so that we can get into those schools and help to change lives and and, and help to lessen the bullying. 